All right, we're going to bring back the amazing Farhan Chawla, uh, who had talked to us about building a book with his seven-year-old. Mm -hmm. Now we're going to talk about one of the most complex use cases uh, that we are going to share today, uh, which is um, uh, multi-thousand person employees in a company and how we were able, uh, how uh, Farhan was able to use uh, that data to um, create analyses uh, of uh, salary, salary trends, performance that made really substantive differences to his business. Um, you know, Farhan is an amazing uh, guy. Uh, went to the same uh, school as my sister, University of Michigan, MGo Blue. Woohoo! Um, and Good he started day. talking about uh, Nokia phones back in 2015, in 2005, you know, which then became sendsupplied.com started a training program for doctors, teaching them how to use ChatGPT uh, around um, you know, their work. Uh, it's a phenomenal use case. Uh, it's not a marketing use case, but um, you know, helping doctors be better doctors um, uh, is uh, a, a fantastic example. And what he's gonna share with us now is um, one of the most creative uses of AI I have seen to date. Um, so I wanted to give him the kind of money shot, uh, you know, take us home. Tell us about uh, how you uh, began a conversation with a massive spreadsheet of 2,483 rows and 18 columns. Okay, thanks, Stan. Um, back again. Okay, let's, uh, let me give you a small brief introduction about what the our company and what we do. We are a pharmaceutical manufacturer in Pakistan, and we also market and sales our product to all over the country. We are about we are the seventh largest manufacturer and about hundred million dollars sales within Pakistan. And we have people based in all over the each and every small and large city of the country. So we have promotion officer. On top of that, we have on every five SPOs we have one manager, which is which you call the area manager. On every five area manager, we have one zone manager and so on and so forth. So I took both three of them, and the main problem which I had was earlier this year, I'm talking about July when we start working on the increments for our field force. So let me, um, is the, the one of the biggest, uh, sorry to interrupt, the connection is not great, and there, so I just wanna make sure everyone's oh, sorry. Here. So what happened is he has uh, 2,500 sales people with different roles, and then a giant database, a massive database of their uh, their names, their performance, 18 different columns, their salary. Um, this is in Pakistan, so everything is in the Pakistani currency. And uh, that was where he started. Okay, so I got this data from my uh, from my uh, data department. It ordered an Excel form. The thing I did first, I converted Excel to CSV. I found it when I put an Excel sheet into chat GPT. I'm using chat GPT four because someone did ask the between paid and the unpaid version. Then paid version can use a chat GPT four and it's excellent for analysis. So I converted the Excel sheet, the one single sheet into CSV. It was easier for chat GPT to understand that. And then start with the prompt engineering, uh, then start with the prompt. I did clean a little bit of data uh, because when my system generates the data in my own uh, ERP, it uses our custom headings. So I changed them a bit so ChatGPT can understand what that is. If you look at the data, it's employee ID, employee name. I don't have to define it that much with ChatGPT. It already understands what is written over there. So it will make the analysis itself. Uh, then can you go to the next sheet? Um, I will. I just want to make sure that um, some people might not be aware that ChatGPT has a lab feature that allows you to upload your data. Um, and so I did want to just take a quick second and make sure that we keep everybody uh, with us on this. So um, we're, we're not going to have time uh, to, to go through um, uh, how to set to turn this on, but I did want to make sure that at least you guys could see what we're looking at. So first of all, when you're in ChatGPT4 and you click on it, they have this thing called advanced data analysis. It's a beta version. It doesn't default to it, but when you click it on, you get this little plus sign. You click a plus, and then you can upload the CSV like the one that he referred to. So I just wanted to make sure that that's how he started, is he started, he turned on 
the beta lab, and then he clicked plus to begin uh, to uh, upload the CSV and query against it. Quick question, Farhan, uh, for someone who doesn't have um, this lab turned on, do you, could you remind me how to do that? Uh, go to the left side, you see your name. There's a three dots right next to your name underneath. Yeah, click over here and go to settings and beta and go to beta features and you can turn it on over here. There you go. So that's how you do it is you click on advanced data analysis then you'll see, this is only the paid version. That's when you'll see it here. So, um, sorry, I, I just wanted to make sure, you know, we're, we're going to try to keep you uh, along with us for this pretty advanced use case, but I just wanted to make sure that everybody understood, like, really how to even get started with analyzing a CSV. Okay. Uh, there's one thing, Dan, the data which you are, there's one thing which I'll talk, talk about is data which you're giving to chat GPT will go into the servers. For me, it's, not rocket science, not like any secret data, just uh, my people's sales and what their sales and their compensation. Yeah, so this is care, important. He starts learning on top of it. This is an inter important point. You know, ChatGPT is a learning uh, tool. It's a research tool. And so they basically ingest your data and use it to train the AI. So you have to be really careful about the data that you upload to it. Um, there are ways to go incognito on ChatGPT so they can't use it for training. And then there are, are paid tools like Azure AI that um, give you a walled garden so that data is private. Now, we talked, Farhan and I, about this. And Farhan said, like, look, you know, I don't, this data is not so valuable or proprietary to me that I felt I needed to invest a lot more in a walled garden. I don't really mind that much. If, um, you know, it finds its way, uh, it, you know, into the training data for open AI. And so he, he evaluated the risk and the reward and decided to go ahead and use ChatGPT for this. So this prompt is insane. Um, but um, part of the point here is this isn't simple or easy. Can you describe, um, you know, notice he started, uh, as all good prompts do, by telling ChatGPT who it is. In this case, it was a human resource manager or master data analyst of a pharmaceutical company. What what did you, at a high level, ask for in this prompt? The way I made the prompt was I asked it everything. First, I defined what the uh, columns were for, and then I put in whatever to ask. Okay, for some people, typing is difficult. So what I started doing is I just open NS Word, start dictation, start talking to it. And just cut, paste, and put it on ChatGPT and press enter. It's much easier to do as typing the whole thing like this. Okay, uh, for this prompt, what I started with, I asked ChatGPT to play a role as a human resource manager. So the thinking of ChatGPT is now is a human resource manager and also as a master data analyst of a pharmaceutical company. The role is now defined. I give it the Excel sheet, which was with CSV, that contains increment data of the whole field force. The sheet contains employee ID, designation, division they work in, the subdivision called teams, because here I have to define what the subdivision was. They're based down, they are based in Pakistan. Now ChatGPT knows where cities are based, but sometimes it makes a mistake. So now define all the cities are based in Pakistan. The joining date, which will help us determine their tenure till 30th June 2023. Their targets based on their value, their sales achievement column achievement, their every sales per month based on 11 month because it was uh, was running the data in July. We got the June sales at the time, so I was doing it like that till May 2023 20, from July 22. Their value of 2021 labeled in the column and the increment they got in 22-23 and then 2023 total salary and propose increment for the next year, for this year, and propose 70% increase in salary. Now, as a, as a data analyst, make in-depth analysis of the data and show us the every cell of designations. And as I told you, we have sales promotion officer, we have area manager, zone manager, senior zone manager, it divided the whole thing. To, and also ignore the prefix senior, because we do have senior promotion and uh, sales promotion. So I just want everyone to be clubbed together. And such a sales thing, area sales manager will be area sales manager. Also, in all designations, separately show the highest salary, increase their averages. Sorry, show the highest salary increases their averages. How they increase over the area, which also shows that the progression of the of the salary expense which you have. 
which division has the highest equity salary, which has the lowest, and which division has the highest expense. Now we have eight different divisions, so it's easier to see which one is taking the highest uh, chunk from the salary. Also, if they're giving me the highest sales or not, and how their salary and sales ratio uh, comes up. Yeah. So just to and summarize, you know, this 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 prompt is asking questions about the data that as an executive, as a director at a large company, Farhan is curious about, right? And so the, the broader takeaway here <laughs> is he was really specific in asking for it to answer certain questions that he had. And this is one of the exciting powers of natural language querying of databases, which is coming soon to Excel and Google Sheets, is rather than having to program this, uh, you can actually ask questions. Now, ChatGPT gave him answers, and then Farhan went back and checked the answers. And what he told me is that what took 20 minutes for him to get responses to in ChatGPT took him four hours to check the validity of in Excel. But he took that step to check the validity because AI can hallucinate. And you don't want to just make big, important business decisions based purely on its response. Now, what he did next is super cool, which is he started out and he told it what it wanted. And then, Farhan, you then asked it to become creative and answer questions you maybe hadn't even thought of yeah. yet. So you want to talk a little bit about that? See, after this prompt, ChatGPT took the file and started uh, showing you step by step how it's going to work. The basic analysis designation wise analysis, salary increase, division analysis, tenure analysis, target achievement, base salary adjustment. Actually, in Pakistan, the minimum salary was 25,000 rupees. Management, that what the impact of salary is going to be. And additional analysis, uh, what is going to be. So this is how ChatGPT uh, divided the whole thing. The additional analysis part is something which ChatGPT start doing itself. I didn't ask it for it. So at times it just takes on the role uh, very uh, how call, very seriously. It gets into the role and start analyzing the whole thing. Then can we go to the next prompt, next page, please? Can you change the slide? Uh, then, yeah. Now the output which I started, no, the first one, yeah. The output we started getting was was the base salary analysis that which, like I told you, we have different uh, teams over here, the Bravo, Frontier, Pinnacle, Pioneer. These are uh, the teams which are using and the person increase in salary which we're getting from them. The number of employees receiving the base increment was 1635. Those who were getting the salary increase of 35,000 rupees. Total increase in salary expense required 11 million Pakistani rupees and overall impact on the salary was 11.56%. Now, uh, basically, it's a family business. I report to my uncle and my father. So any change I make, it doesn't even stop at the board meeting. It goes all the way down to dining table. So I have to make sure that all the data presenting is perfect. That's why I recheck the whole thing before taking it to them. And also, if I'm taking a step, what impact will it put on company finances? Again, it's a family business, so everything comes down to the family. So. I went down to that okay, uh, overall impact of salary, which I took it to my team, uh, to, to the my management later on. Then can we go to the next slide now? Now. So um, Farhan's uh, connection is a little bad, but what's amazing is he was asking chat GPT to actually uh, visualize this data for him. It created this graph um, comparing oldest staff salaries to newest staff salaries. Um, he asked it to generate a downloadable CSV file to capture the analysis. This is what allowed him to then check the work Sorry. and make sure that it was working properly. Um, you know, he um, was able to ask it for uh, creative ideas um, on, uh, as an HR manager, uh, how would you analyze this data and extract uh, increase other insights? So uh, Farhan, your connection isn't great. Uh, my question to you is, what was one surprise that you got from ChatGPT in terms of its being an HR manager for you and telling you a, um, you know, a data analysis that you hadn't thought of on your own. 
after the I got the data from it, which I asked for. Then I told him to act like HR manager again and do any analysis it thinks is the best for the company. And this is the response which I start getting. I start working on performance versus compensation analysis, tenure versus performance, distribution of designation, different division, tenure distribution, top performers, undercompensated top performers, and overcompensated. These the last two parts, the under and overcompensated. I never thought about it that we do have people who are doing giving us a much good, better sales, but the salary as compared to others much low. And that's where the campaigns start coming in. There are also people who sell whose sales are much lower, but they are being overcompensated at a much higher sal a much higher salary. So that is they are not performing as that ROI is not coming out that way. So yeah. these are the two things in the underneath which I got from Chat GPT, which I didn't thought of. And that was the base of the complaints which I was getting. So it gave me the company and analysis. What, what I love, then can you go to the next slide now? Sure, yeah. will do. What I love about this example, and we'll need to wrap up here in a sec, is you know, a lot of what ChatGPT suggested, he had he already kind of knew, but uh, num number six and seven were ideas he had never occurred to him. And so I think of ChatGPT, among other things, as a thought partner, like a really smart friend, and you can have a conversation with it and it can expand your uh, ideas for what you can do. Um, and in this case, six and seven were ideas he had never thought of, and then he ran with. Um, but obviously, he did this analysis not only through ChatGPT, but also he checked the work, uh, you know, in Excel because this could really you know, this is gonna this is people's livelihoods. So you don't want to just trust uh, GPT data, uh, any AI data. You want to make sure to double check it. Now, this was the response I got. A significant number of people have been with the company for ten years. Increase a stable and experienced workforce. Now, again, it's thinking like an HR manager. It's giving me, I can use it in my presentations. I can talk to my management about it. There's also a substantial group of employees in the one to three year bracket, suggesting recent hiring activities and growth. That means we are either growing or there are a lot of turnover which we are having. The fewer number of employees with less than one year might indicate either a slow time or stable workforce. So we do have people above one year now. So the turnover ratio has gone down. Then it went down, let's identify the top performers based on the sale achievement versus target ratio. And we consider the top 10% of the ratio as top performers. Again, start doing the work by itself. Then can you go next slide, please? Now, uh, basically, as chat GPT is all about how you put in the prompt, what questions you ask. And then you have to do a role-playing game with it. You have 50 questions, make the most of them with it. And Remember uh, what I found out, the same prompt when I use in a different, like I use in January, I use in July and August, every month, every time I get a different response out of it. So sometimes it gets gives me a much better response. Sometimes it gives me the same response. So ChatGB is also involving in its thinking. It's getting better and better and giving much better responses. Thank you, you know, so much for this. Um, you know, this has been, you know, such a... Uh, exciting and and somewhat um intimidating use case uh but it's definitely something we can aspire to um i, I think farhan clearly there's a guy who spends his nights and evenings playing with these tools uh but he's been able to incorporate it at a very high level uh in a very large company 